Hello, it's Valentine from Complistic, and in this problem we're going to predict the sign of delta s for each of the processes a, b, and c. So in the first process you have water that's boiling, and the, one of the things to remember when you're trying to predict the sign of delta s is you always want to see uh, measure the the, ra the the rate of randomness or the chaoticness or the chaos. So in the case of boiling water, uh, if you think about the water before it was boiling to the time it's boiling now, typically what happens is chaos increases. So randomness increases. Therefore, delta S should increase. Okay, so therefore, the sign of delta S is greater than zero or positive. All right, so for the second uh, one, so that was A, the second one is you're going from a gas, I2 gas, to I2 solid. So whenever you go from a gas to a solid, uh, randomness decreases, okay? So another way to call uh, to look at this is energy dispersal. Same as randomness, pardon my handwriting, decreases, therefore delta S will also decrease. Therefore, delta S is less than zero or negative. And in the third example, C, you actually have a reaction out here. So in a reaction, you always got to take a look at a couple of different things. You have a, a solid changing to another solid and a gas. So you're going from a solid to a gas, so therefore randomness increases. But also, you're going from one uh, one molecule out here, or basically stoichiometrically, one of them to one and another one. So therefore, uh, in the product, you have two net um, uh, moles, and then in the reactant, you have one. So therefore, you're increasing, okay, from one to two. Therefore, delta S is got to be greater than zero or positive in this case as well. I hope that made sense. Thank you for watching.